Hi, today you are joining me in doing a deck interview for the Wake Me Up Tarot, which is new in my collection. And I'm going to walk you through how I do my deck interviews in a really fun, simple, short spread to get to know the deck before you start working with it. I have actually already started working with this for a pick a card reading, which you'll find in the eye. But this is a new deck to me. I literally got this in two days ago. And it is a gorgeous indie deck and it's very modern, relatable, as well as diverse in age, ethnicity and gender. I think I'm going to get a lot of use and a lot of work out of this deck. So I really want to do a deck interview to get to know it better. This is my tarot journal. I've been keeping this since February and I don't super regularly use it. Here I did a deck interview for my Tarot de Lou and I did an essential energy strength and weakness and I want to do the same thing for the Wake Me Up Tarot. I'm starting off with today's date, which I don't know, and I write down the deck that I'm using and what kind of reading I'm going to do. I'm going to start first with the essential energy because I want to know what is the essential energy of this deck what I can expect, the energy that I can feel from this, the essential energy of the deck. I have the Knight of Wands. To me, the Knight of Wands is about adventure. So I feel like the Wake Me Up Terror is gonna join me in an adventure, is gonna push me into an adventure. It's very possible that I make any spelling mistakes here because English is not my first language, but I still prefer to do my readings in English because that is how I learned. And sometimes I like to write out entire sentences and sometimes I prefer to write down keywords first and then think about sentences of how I feel like I can interpret this. And because this is a deck interview, I specifically also want to see what the guidebook has to say about this card. Yeah, it says... Adventurous, daring, hasty, they are fearless and quick, they embrace their braveness and free spirit. So I feel like free spirit is also very much a keyword that I can associate with this deck. They can be disrespectful sometimes with their attitude. It is also a sign that you may be rushing too fast, you need to slow down and be cautious. So what I'm getting from this is... It can show an attitude, even though the guidebook says that you might be rushing too fast, you need to slow down, be cautious. I do feel like when I think of essential energy with the Knight of Wands for a tarot deck, I'm thinking that I can easily bond with this deck. I feel like it is warm. I think it's going to keep me on my toes. The last sentence here in the guidebook is this card can also mean discovering a new path of self or culture. So I think this deck is really going to help allow me to discover new things maybe about myself or about the world or my journey. The next position I want to look at is what the strength of the deck is. I'm going to keep this at the top here. What is the strength of this deck? Interesting, a five of pentacles. I think this deck will not shy away from telling me the truth and to keep it real. I do think it can help me to go through my struggles, but also maybe like give a reality check. Let's see what the guidebook has to add. Let's see, poverty, dead end, outcast. Yeah, it says here, at times we will be in a situation where we are not in control of our surroundings. It is difficult to see the positive at this moment. Be aware of your financial position, friend circle, and career. So very much that part of being aware of where you are right now. So keeping it real, um, providing a reality check. I think that that is mostly the message here that I get. And then the last position is going to be weakness. So the weakness of the deck. Very interesting. I got the Eight of Pentacles as the weakness. And to me, this is about dedication, commitment, hard work, repetition, trying new things. But seeing it as a weakness, I almost feel like the deck is telling me almost that it doesn't always want to be used or that it's going to be hard to commit to it or that because it is so adventurous that or that it's going to require a lot of hard work to get it to work. That is not so far that I have found it reads because I felt like it reads very easily. But still, I 
I'm sort of picking that up, that it's going to require a lot of hard work to get it right with this deck. And maybe that is because there is so much in these cards. There's way more than meets the eye in every card. So there might that, that might be the thing that it's going to require a lot of work a lot of practice to work with it. I actually want to pull a second card for this. I got the Six of Wands, Recognition. I'm having a very hard time figuring this out. I almost feel like the thing that it does best is real life situations, which is why this as like a deck interview is kind of tough because that is more, I guess, spiritual energy wise and not as relatable and physical and tangible. I really get this idea that the feeling that this deck is going to be so practical. And that is the idea that I'm getting here. Like he is working with his hands. He's being practical here. And reading these cards together, these are things that you can see in your everyday life. Like for some decks, there are beautiful images that cannot happen in real life. So they read more like energies, but these feel very tangible. These look very tangible, like real situations. So I feel like anything outside of the tangible, it has a really hard time with. So yeah, that is the deck interview for the Wake Me Up Tarot. Afterwards, I like to shuffle the deck a bit. I am super excited about this deck because I think it's going to be really modern, really relatable and really helpful for just everyday type of readings. I haven't done a video on this yet and it will probably take me a while to do one because I really want to do a thorough deck study and then walk you through the deck. Similarly to what I did with my Witchling Academy Tarot. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I do my deck interviews and that it will encourage you to do deck interviews of your own because I think you're really fun to do. I think they're really helpful to do because they get you to get to know the deck better and if nothing else to have a first reading to sort of break the ice with uh, a new tarot deck. If you want to see more videos on tarot, tarot readings, that fun stuff, subscribe to this channel. I would love to have you here. You can join my channel membership if you're interested in getting the video version of my podcast where I do a week ahead forecast through tarot and astrology, as well as access to the private members only Discord server. You can book a private tarot reading with me through the link in the description box below. But for now, thank you so much for watching and hope to see you next time.